Hi, so I just want to mention here the most common reason why you can't boot from your USB thumb drive. So I've plugged in my USB drive and you'll notice it's the removable disk and it's labeled as the eDrive. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to click properties and you'll notice the file system is formatted as XFAT or extended fat and that actually will not boot off of many BIOSes. So what I'm going to do here is you'll, you'll notice I have an ISO that I've extracted here so it's not going to boot and I'm going to have to format it so I'm going to right click format and you'll notice I get uh, the default choice XFAT or FAT32 or NTFS so most file systems or most uh, boot disk will, will boot off of a FAT32 now there is a limitations with FAT32 is if there are files that are greater than four gigabytes, a single file greater than four gigabytes, you can't write to a FAT32 file system. And that actually happened to me. I, I typically format my USB drives FAT32 and I'll copy the operating system from an ISO over to the USB drive. Um, but the latest Windows 2016 technical preview actually had a file that was greater than four gigabytes so I had to format it NTFS which supports files that are greater than uh, four gigabytes and luckily my BIOS was able to recognize that file system so a file system is just the way the files are arranged uh, on the actual uh, hard device on, on the actual hardware so um, so that's the tip. That That's usually the most common reason why you're not able to boot off of your USB thumb drive is because by default many of the USB thumb drives come in X extended FAT or X FAT. So, um, you know, make sure to format it. But when, when you format your thumb drive, you're going to lose everything on your thumb drive. So just make sure you get rid of uh, or, or you make a copy of all your data and copy it back or... Um, you know back it up. So all right. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope this solved your issue. Thank you. Bye-bye